um, so I'm Emily Parker, and this is my final exam project for English 1000. And for my multimodal project, I made an infographic um, right here, and I've attached that in the email if you want to pull that up while I'm presenting. So my topic was same-sex marriage in the United States. My other papers were kind of related to that in a different sense, but basically, um, this infographic explains five main reasons why people are against same-sex marriage in the United States being legalized. And I have researched those and then gone and found reasons why those are not factual and are not true. So basically, a little background, it says, In June of 2015, the ongoing debate over whether or not those involved in same-sex relationships should be given the freedom to marry was put to rest when the Supreme Court ruled to legalize gay marriage in the United States. Though most were related and celebrated the passing of this bill, many were not quite on board for a multitude of reasons. Below are a few misconceptions pertaining to this controversial topic. So as you can see, the first reason people always give against gay marriage is it opposes religious and moral values. Um, people often say that it's mentioned various times in the Bible that marriage is supposed to be a union between a man and a woman, and that's all. Um, homosexuality is referred to as a sin. And there's no, therefore, for that, people believe that it should not be legal. Um, it is believed that marriage is a religious institution um, and that society has no way of, they have no authority over saying who gets to do what. It's all religious based. And then a counter argument to that is that um, in the U.S., at least, there's a separation between church and state. So there's no reason why a religious idea and opinion should affect something that the government controls. Um, and again, not everyone shares the same religious views, so just because it goes against your religious values doesn't mean it goes against everyone else's. So, therefore, that's not a very valid opinion because that's not fair. Um, my second is that it's not, it says, people always say that it's not natural. Um, and that's not very fair to say. People say it because they say, oh, you're supposed to be married so you can have children and procreate and create families and all those things. And something against that is the fact that just because people want to get married doesn't mean they want children in general. So uh, just because even if a heterosexual couple gets married doesn't mean they're going to have children. And that's also not fair to the people that do get married and want children but can't have them. So you can still have a family and be in a homosexual relationship, but adopt. Or there are other means of having children and creating families. So the third opposition is that it is harmful to a child's cognitive development. Um, people believe that a child needs a mother and a father both to shape them and help them develop normally, normally. And the fact that in a same-sex marriage you would only have parents of one gender, people think that they won't develop naturally and that they will not have the same opportunities that other children will. And that, I can counter that by saying there have been many scientific studies that prove that no matter what, as long as a child is in a loving and caring home, that they will always be, they will develop as long as they're given the means that they need, which is food and love and affection and education and all those kinds of things. Um, and again, not everyone wants children, so even if it is a straight marriage, um, they might not even have children in general, so that's not a very valid point. Um, another opinion is that it forces others to accept these beliefs. People believe that by legalizing gay marriage on a federal level, it makes any public opposition to the topic, such as a business refusing service to a homosexual couple, impossible. People think that if it's legal, yes, you have to follow it, but that doesn't mean you have to agree with it. You're still allowed to form your own opinions, even though people are still, like, people can do what they want. Um, people think it creates, it does, it creates a social standard in which everyone is expected to abide by, but it doesn't mean you have to follow it exactly. So, and then the last counter-argument I have is that every, it, people think that every state should be able to decide on their own whether or not they want to legalize gay marriage or not. Um, as stated in, in the Constitution, the government of each individual state has the right to create and abide by their own laws to some extent. These laws include the right to accept or ban same-sex marriages at the state level. Um, 
the counter argument is that everyone does have the right to their own opinions, but the federal government does have overriding power and has the final say. Um, so basically just because a state, yes, things are different on each side of the country, but if the federal government and enough people in that believe that it should be a flat out law, then that's just how things have to go. They can override the states. So a little last factual bit of information is that um, it says approximately 60% of Americans agree with same-sex marriage and support the legalization of gay marriage. So even though it seems that there's a lot of backlash for it, as of today, the majority of America accepts it. So I think it's important that um, it is legalized and that it stays that way. So thank you so much.